Once again on the lawn here at Pebble Beach with one of the more unusual cars. I saw this and I said, boy, that looks like a Virgil Exner design. And it is, isn't it? It is. It is. This is Cream Eddie and you're from Beirut? Beirut, Lebanon, yes. And this is a fascinating <laughs> story on this car. You found this car where? I found it in, in Beirut. In Beirut. Uh, in, in the early 80s. And, okay. Uh, it, was, it was before it was in Kuwait. Right. And before it was in Iran, it was owned by the Shah of Iran. So the Shah of Iran bought this car. So it is a 1961? 1960. 1960. Oh, 1960. Okay. And it has the, the famous car slant six slant cylinder 6 engine. 6170 cubic inch right. to, to NASCAR specs. Built to NASCAR specs. Yes. Okay, yes. so how many horsepower? About 220, something uh, like that? Above 250. Oh, above 250, above okay. 50. It revs up to 9,000 RPM, in fact. It revs to 9,000, yes. a slant six yes. going yes. on that? Yes, you You're a braver be, man than I am. No, I'm going, to, I'm going to start the engine. Wow. I'm going okay. to show you the engine. Three speed or four speed? It's a C speed. Three speed, okay. Go ahead, fire it up. Let's see how she goes. She in neutral? Yeah. Yeah, let's take a look. So what, was this built for the auto show? It was, exactly, it was built and it was toured in 1960. Right. Then it went back to Italy. Right, okay, there you go. The famous Slant 6. Wow, beautiful restoration on the car. Yes, it, it was done by RM in Canada. Yeah. yeah. Oh, RM in Canada, okay. Yes. Let's show what, it's a two-seater, obviously. Let's, and explain this back here, uh, Kareem. Oh, this is, the, the XNR stands for XNR. Right. Yes. So this is the only car named it's, after him. Exactly, exactly. Okay. And this button here is the last one he made it for Chrysler in fact before leaving. Yeah, yeah. Well, it does look like it does look Chrysler, -y, doesn't it? Does you can see the version actually. This is really unusual here the way it's done. How and how long have you had the car? For 23 years already. Wow, 23 years. Okay. Wow, pretty. And where do you keep it? Here in the States? No, it's kept in Canada. They oh, have okay. the, uh, the yeah, museum yeah. at RM, so they yeah. take care of it over and there. And look at the windshield on that as well. Look at the gauges. Let's take a look at those gauges. Interesting they went with a slant 6 rather than even a 318. The, the idea was to have a, an asymmetrical engine because the whole car is asymmetric. Right, okay. There's nothing, if you look at the inside of the doors here, it's completely different one from the yeah, other. Yeah, right, I see. Everything is different from the And is it aluminum or fiberglass? No, it's, a, it's a steel. Steel, all steel, wow, yes. a steel body. Pretty neat. And what is the chassis? Do you know, or is it? It's uh, it's the, it's a modified uh, Valiant chassis. Modified Valiant chassis. Okay. Well, my mom reinforced. had a Valiant in 1960. Me too. <laughs> yeah. Did your mom have a Valiant? There you go. So it was you're... white with blue interior. Yeah. I know exactly how fast a Slant Six will go. This, no, but believe me, <laughs> 94 after, miles after, an hour. After 3,000 yeah, RPM, it yeah. goes wild. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's a beautiful job. Beautiful restoration. And uh, yeah, this is really a one of a kind, isn't it? It is one. This one, is the only one, one they built. The only one. You know, I probably saw this when I was 10 years old in one of the magazines. Now that it, ah, it was on the cover of Road and Track, uh, it was driven at 150 miles of per hour on, really? the, on the ground, uh, wow. testing ground of Chrysler. I could never get my mom's value to go 150 miles an hour. You wouldn't want to drive it at 150 no. miles per hour. No, no, no. I drove no, no. It last time on the yeah. Tour of Elegance. Yeah. It was a little bit scary <laughs> after 60, 70 miles. Yeah, yeah, but uh, beautiful job. Thank Grim, you. thank you very much. Thank Thanks you. for showing it to us. Thank you.